Hey guys, welcome to another session on pharmacology. In this video, we're going to be talking to you guys about ear positive breast cancer and some of the treatments that are currently available. So let's begin. The first line of treatment for estrogen dependent breast cancer is tamoxifen, which is a specific estrogen receptor modulator. All serms are partial agonists for their estrogen receptor, which means that in some cases or in some tissues, tamoxifen behaves more like an antagonist, and in other tissues, they behave more like an agonist. Now to explain some of the side effects that we see associated with this drug. For example, if tamoxifen behaves like an antagonist within the blood, then obviously we will expect to see an increased risk of developing stroke because estrogen is known to improve lipid profiles. On the other hand, if tamoxifen behaves like an agonist within the endometrium and the uterine wall, then obviously we would expect to see an increase in risk of developing endometrial cancer and uterine sarcomas. It's also been, also been long suggested that tamoxifen be used as a prophylaxis against breast cancer because in recent studies, it's been shown that tamoxifen actually decreases the reoccurrence of pre-existing cancer and also prevents development of new cancer in the other breast. So, next we're dealing with refractory uh, ER positive breast cancer. Refractory just means that it is this breast cancer is no longer responding to classical or typical anti estrogen therapy. So what do we do? Uh, we have to use specific estrogen receptor down regulators, down regulators like fulvestrant. And this is how I like to think about it. Okay, uh, when we're trying to treat somebody with breast cancer, we start off with tamoxifen, which is a partial agonist. Now, when tamoxifen no longer becomes sufficient. Uh, in preventing uh, the spread of the breast cancer, then obviously we're going to have to use something more radical. In other words, we're going to have to use a full antagonist. And this is exactly what fulvestron is. Something else I also use to uh, memorize this drug is to play around the word fulvestron. I mean, it sounds a lot like full restraint. So in order to restrain refractory cancer, I'm going to have to use fulvestron. Finally, we're going to talk about aromatase inhibitors. Now, one of the most important things to know about this class of drugs is that it is mainly used in postmenopausal women or in women who have undergone nephrectomy. The reason is because aromatase okay, is an enzyme that is used to convert androstenedions and testosterone into estrogens like estrone and estradiol, which means that when you inhibit aromatase, you essentially decrease the amount of estrogen that's in the body. And therefore, it's not surprising to know that osteoporosis is a risk factor that's associated with aromatase inhibitors. And because of that, you don't want to use this drug on young women because young women are still producing estrogens. So that basically concludes our short session on ear positive breast cancer. In our next few videos, we'll be dealing with progestins and antiprogestins. So look forward to that, and like always, if you have any other questions, uh, please post in the comment below, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.